Hello, this is Roy with the Love Chat, and today's topic is Don't Date Potential. Now, this is video number 228. If you have a question you'd like for me to consider featuring on the Love Chat, please write in a comment below, and if you enjoy my videos, I would be so very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. If you'd like coaching on your situation, just visit my website, thelovechat.net slash coaching. Now then, what does that even really mean, don't date potential? Well, think about this. You're dating somebody new, and there are many, 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 many great things about them, and you're very interested in them for a whole list of reasons, and maybe they check every box that you can think of, except for the fact that their life is a complete mess and they don't have a job, or maybe there's different areas of their life in general that they don't have together. Now you might think, okay, well, hey, this is who they are, I like who they are, and yeah, there are some things about them that could be a little better, and I do wish that they would get better, but hey, maybe with my influence, they can get better. That is exactly what we're talking about when we say don't date potential. It is not your job to fix someone else's problems. And this is a mistake, my friends, that I historically make in most of my relationships because I'm a big time caregiver. And I find that a lot of people are this way, where it's not so much that we find something wrong with you, it's just that we want to know if there's a way that we can make you even more okay, right? Even better, even happier. How can I serve you? Because when I feel like I am serving somebody, I feel better about myself. Now, the problem with this is that it becomes an expectation or the other main demon is that it feeds into or enables some of their bad behavior. And the tricky part about all of this is that we might not even know that we're doing it and they might not know that we're doing it. And it's this whole myriad of problems that stem from you trying to do the right thing and you showing genuine care for somebody because there are so many things about them that attract you. But ultimately, the main problem is when you date potential, you're dating them for who they could be rather than who they are. Honestly, in situations like this, you have two options. You have, well, I guess you have three options. The first one of which is date them and watch it blow up because you made them something they did not want to be or maybe something they initially agreed to be simply because they didn't want to lose the possibility of dating you in the puppy love stage, which is, you know, when we make the worst decisions. And I think I mentioned this earlier in a video, or maybe it was in live stream yesterday, but don't base permanent decisions off of temporary emotions, because usually a rushed and not fully thought through decision is going to be made. Now, I'm don't saying that you should be completely 100% sure about your partner. Obviously, as we grow and learn to figure out who they are, we become more and more and more certain. But what I am saying is that if you clearly know and acknowledge that there are some things about them that you don't like or that you prefer being different, and you think, well, maybe they'll change over the course of the relationship with my influence, it's a bad choice. Don't do it. And that brings us to option number two, which is don't do it. Just avoid the situation entirely, avoid the heartbreak, avoid it. Don't date potential. Finally, we come to option three, which is accept a person for who they are. Walk in with your eyes open and say, I care about you because of all of you. Your faults, the things that annoy me, the things that I wish were different, the things that I love, and the things that I wouldn't change for the world. Because then... You're going to be dating somebody who you truly care for and who you said to yourself, this is who this person is. This is who I accept this person to be, and I even would be upset if they weren't. So the second half of the conversation is basically, how do I know that this person is who they are? And maybe this even deserves its own video. Maybe I'll do that for dating. But how do I know that who I'm dating is who they're always going to be, right? How do I know that this is potential or this is forever? And that's a bit of a complicated conversation because honestly, people change, right? Who I am will not always be who I am. It's fluid. You know, people change based on experiences. But what I would say is that the overarching general idea of who a person is, really you should be waiting probably about five, maybe six months into dating them to truly know who they are. That's because during the initial phase of the relationship, you're going through that sort of puppy love, limerence, if you want to call it that. And during that time, we're putting our best foot forward because we're constantly trying to impress the other person, even though that might not be who we are permanently, or 
Maybe that's just who we are during that period of dating. But as things calm down and we get more used to who this person is and okay, I don't have to try so hard to keep their attention now, which is dangerous if you do too much of that, then I can kind of let my hair down and be a bit more relaxed. Then you get a good idea for who the person is because they're not trying as hard to impress you. So what I would say is just keep a critical eye out, be open, communicate well with your partner and realize which of their behaviors are part of their personality and which of their behaviors are just something that if you give them a little nudge, they'll go, oh, sorry, I didn't even know I was doing that to upset you. All in all, the best thing you can do is communicate with your partner and do not make them someone they are not. And lastly, don't forget to have fun. That's what this is all about. And also, that's all I had for today. If you found my video helpful, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe and hit like. Please leave a comment below and tell me what topics you want me to cover in the future. Additionally, if you'd like extra videos every week, private live streams with me, and free giveaways of my best-selling book on Amazon, just visit my Patreon. Patreon.com slash TheLoveChat. Until next time.